Hey, how's it going today? And I wasn't planning on making this tutorial today, but I wanted to do it just kind of as a community service. I didn't know this, but did you know that flip-flop nodes can be out of sync and become problematic? And some people have gone as far as saying that they're unreliable with this getting out of sync. So what that forced me to do was to create a alternative to the flip-flop node and so this is just a second way to create a flip-flop node if you're having problems with it so anyway just to trigger this I'll get, let me get rid of this comment here just to trigger this we're going to go ahead and do a keyboard event this is pretty simple to do and we'll just trigger it with a one and then what we're going to do is we're going to we have a variable we'll create and you can set it to zero by default so just make a variable integer and we're just going to drag this onto the scene and we're going to do a get and we're going to do a set and then we're going to get a add node so we're just going to create a simple incrementing function here where it's going to go up by one every iteration every time the person presses one so we have our incrementing function then what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of here and we're going to search for a percentage we don't want to we can't pull off I'll just search here and go percentage I just saw it here this one and this is always going to return by dividing by two this is always going to return either a zero or a one so we pop that in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to search for we can, I'm sure we can get it equals off of here. Get it equals, if I can spell it right, equal. And then if it's equal to zero, then we're gonna do a simple branch statement here. And we're gonna go B, keep the chain going there. It'll be zero half the time then. As it increments, it's always gonna be zero or one. And then we're gonna check to see if it's equal to zero, which it will be half the time. And so then we can do a print string here. And so we'll just print string. And here, if it's true, we're going to type in true. And then hit control D, another one of these, and pop this one into here. And this one's going to be false. And if everything is correct, that's it. That's a fl reliable flip-flop node. Should be a reliable flip-flop node if you're having problems with your flip-flop node. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Let's see if this works. Play. And I'll just hit one here. W to get going. False. True. False. True. True, false, true, false, true, false. Yeah, so as many numbers are as there is, is as far as this will go. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.